joining us now to talk about it, Eric Bjornlund, founder of Democracy International. He is author of the book Beyond Free and Fair, Monitoring Elections and Building Democracy. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. The Iraqi election will likely be violent, disorderly, and flawed. Would you agree that it will nevertheless be more open and authentic and important than any election ever held in that part of the Arab world? Well, don't forget that just this week the Palestinians held democratic elections in the territories that they inhabit. Mm -hmm. But yes, I think uh, the election in Iraq will be a much more meaningful one than anything that has preceded it. You write extensively in this book, and I've read a good deal of it, about what constitutes a free and fair election. And as elusive as that standard may be, do you think that the Iraqi election will fit the sort of general criteria of what's free and fair? Well, no, it won't. But then again, no election really meets the, the standards for free and fair if they're read too literally. I, I do think that the elections that are going to happen in a couple of weeks will be something that can be meaningful and that can mean something. I think that we in the international community have tended to put too much emphasis on whether an election is free and fair. And one of the things I argue is that we have to think of elections as part of a process and move right. beyond just making that judgment.